Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Um, a little bit tired. Why, why, are, I, why are you tired? Because I don't, I don't ready for the, for the, <laughs> oh, no, I don't know, I don't re, re, recharge. Recharge. But, recharge mm -hmm. all the energy. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Well, do you work but today? I'm ready, yes. No, no, I'm, I have the, the, the so in, Mi semana de descanso and the uh, week, week, or... week off. Week, week off. off. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. But I'm ready for the English class. All right. That's the important part. That's the good <laughs> part. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Thank you, Monica. Uh, welcome, everybody. Hello, Marta. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, David. Hello, teacher. Hello, Reina. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hector Granados. Hello, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Um, can anybody tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? About physical, uh, look for the people. That's right, um, physical appearance. Describing physical people, appearance. describing people, correct. For example, good looking, pretty tall, mustache, red hair, curly, pretty tall, long blonde hair, fairly short, heavy, very tall, slim, right? So in this activity, we notice that we are using describing words. For the next class, for the next section, we're going to look at 4.9. In this session, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. En esta clase escucharán un diálogo entre dos personas los cuales usan modificadores con participios y preposiciones. Which one is she? Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, so we did this activity yesterday. Hicimos estas actividades ayer. Do you have any questions about these activities? No. Okay. So today I would like for us to look at the following one. We are going to be looking at 4.11. In this session, you will learn to use modifiers with participles and prepositions. In esta clase aprenderemos Cómo usar modificadores con participios y preposiciones. Listen, please. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? 
She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. All right. Um, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Teacher, yo, cuando dice which, mm -hmm. y no se puede usar what. Uh, no, what, no, porque what sería como qué. Uh, what, uh, what is your favorite food? ¿Cuál es tu comida favorita? For example. So in this case, with uh, is the preposition and it introduces the preposition with short black hair. All right. Who's Liz? Here we say, who's Liz? Uh, Jenny, vamos a mantener su micrófono en silencio, por favor. Jenny Melendez. Gracias. So here it says, who's Liz? ¿Quién es Liz? Y le responde, she's the woman. Ella es la mujer with short black hair. Con pelo negro corto. Okay. Aquí, which one is Julia? ¿Cuál de todas es Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Ella es la alta en jeans. Eh, aquí, who are the Smiths? ¿Quiénes son los Smiths? They are the people. Ellos son las personas next to the window. A la par de la ventana. Which ones are the Smiths? ¿Cuáles son los Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. Ellos son los que están en el sofa. Right, so these are the prepositions. Aquí, wearing y talking, eh, se están utilizando como adjetivos, no como verbos. Como adjetivos. Thank you. Right. Okay. So for this activity, you're going to write five questions and five answers. For example, who's Joe? He's the man wearing a blue shirt. Which one? He's the one walking on the yard. Who's Gabby? She's the other man, woman with long black hair. Which one is Susie? She's the woman talking with Joe. Who are the Garcias? They're the family living next to the supermarket. Five examples in the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Yes. Yes, we are looking at section number five, four point twelve. Four point twelve. 4.12. Okay, okay.
Perfecto. Yes. Vamos a ver qué le ponemos a este Héctor. Que he <risa> el el mengo. <risa> Whose is Héctor? Whose? Ah, si sí, usted le pone apóstrofe, no se lo pone. Whose? Raúl. Actually, Héctor es la cosa. <risa> Raúl, a ver qué. Raúl es el del ejemplo. <risa> Who's Hector? Okay, Hector. Entonces sería he's the man y dame una eh, una eh, característica eh, suya. He's with, the man. Quiero ver with eh, negrito blanco. <ríe> no ah, este. pero en colores de piel no nos no Ajá, nos fíjese que ahorita verdad. se me vino a la mente, sí. Es cierto, bueno, buen punto, buen punto. Eh, pero vaya, wearing. ¿Qué lleva puesto? Wearing. Es... Who's, the, who's the man wearing? She, she oh, talking, 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 porque está hablando conmigo. Okay. Talking with Monica. <ríe> <ríe> Talking, 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 Se ve cortado. Hola, 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 hola. Hoy, hoy sí, hoy sí. Pus sí. Mánica. Ok. Eh, she's the woman, ¿verdad? Sí. O podemos ponerle which, which, which one para cambiar. Cada quien de todas. Which one? Which? Which one? Money. When I have the curly, curly hair. Well, for see, for when it which, which one? poniendo mal aquí ah, yes. cheese cheese Big woman woman eh, In sheer with black. perdón en una sheer camisa black Shirt is multicolor. <risa> o que va mejor el cabello. <risa> Porque Ay, está bueno. Long, black, cur long, long, and, long, black, and curly hair. Long, black, and curly hair. Long, black, and curly hair. Tres, three, which. No hay problema de escribir which. Three, number three. Oh, sí. eh, ¿En qué le ponemos, Ricardo? ¿Cómo? ¿Perdón? Ricardo, ponemos. Ricardo. Ay. Bueno. Yes, I listen here. Okay. okay. Eh, otro de los ejemplos era eh, Who are the Smiths? O sea, ¿quiénes son los Smiths? Podría ser <coughs> Who are the 
¿Qué grupo somos? Was the student from five, five room? Or... Como quienes son los estudiantes del grupo en el que estamos. They are the students. No, ¿quiénes son los estudiantes? Así como para ponerlo en general y contestar, they are the, the students by room. How? No sé si oh. tienen otra cosa ustedes. No. Bueno, según el algo de juego Nadie. podría ser como who are the team with white uniform. I don't know. Which one is she's the woman talking? Pues, pues Manuel. Is the man wearing the man with está usando the long hair. Ah, bueno, ok. Entonces no es wearing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody finished? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody finished? No, teacher. Finish. Do you need more? Do you need more time? Yes. 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 We know oh. A little bit. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple of more minutes. 
Uh, Josue, if you are finished, you can continue in the next activity. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I have new students. Give me okay. a second. I, I have, uh, I'm working for, with Hector. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, ready, let's go. Which one is? Which one is? Ah, no, si nos faltan dos, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Eh, tengo otra. Who are the Melen Mendes? Mendes. Mendes, sí. sí. Okay. They are 
the people near to the river. Es cerca del río. Uh -huh. The people near, near to the river. To the river. Okay. ¿Cuántas nos faltan? Solo eran cinco, ya están. Ah, ok. Sí. Si querés en la próxima, eh, eh, René. Pero okay. igual te voy a poner. Está bien, no hay problema. Sí. Sí, Okay, guys, now we are going to move forward. If you are not finished, that will be your homework. For the following activity, what you're going to do is look at the knowledge check, which is section 413. Instructions, choose the sentences using modifiers with possible or prepositions correctly. Instrucciones. Lea las oraciones y escoja la oración que usa modificadores con participios o preposiciones de forma correcta. Number one. Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Cargo pants son los pantalones comando que le decimos nosotros, que tienen bolsas grandes. Number one, Clark is the tall guy wearing a button-down t-shirt and cargo pants. All right, are you ready? We're going to yes. work in pairs. Yes, We're going to work in pairs. Yes. Let's go. If you have any questions, raise your hand and I will help you.
Vaya, sería este. Ah, oh, I stand. Yes. Okay, to continue. Let's go. He's wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Clark is the tall guy wearing in bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Okay. Number two. Adam and Louis are the good looking folk. They are talking to Tom. Adam and Louis are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Okay. Number three. Fine is the young girl. She's in a strip t shirt and blue jeans. Lina is the young girl in the in a stripper t-shirt and blue jeans. Number four, Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman. Is the to the left of Antonio. Five. AJ is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa team. AJ is the serious looking boy. Listening to his new salsa CD. Okay. Comienzo yo ahora. Number one, Claire is the tall gay. She's wearing a borrowed noun shirt and cargo pants. The color is color is the tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Number two, Adam and Luis, Luis won the, the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. The color correct is Adam and Louise are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Number three, three lion is the young girl. She is in a stripper, t-shirt and blue jeans. And the correct is Lion is the John Kiel in a strip t shirt and blue jeans. Number four, Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. The correct is Jessica is the attractive woman sitting. To the left of Antonio. Number five, J A J is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa city. Okay, the correct A J is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa city. Okay. A ver si lo alcanzamos a hacer de nuevo. Bueno, number one, Clara is the tall guy. He's wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. And then we're correct. Clara is the tall guy wearing a bottom now shirt and car pants. Number two, Adam and Louis are the good looking for 
coat. They are talking to Tom. The answer correct. Adam and Louis are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Number three. Line is the young girl. She's on free Fisher and blue jeans. Answer correct. Lion is the younger girl in the stripper t-shirt and blue jeans. Four. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Answer correct. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting the, to the left of Antonio. <laughs> All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. All right, let me have the first volunteer, the first volunteer, number one. The first volunteer, number one, please. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. Oh, Marta Mengibar. The first volunteer, Marta Menjibar, the okay. first volunteer, number one. Okay, Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a burned down shirt and cargo pants. Perfect. Clark is the tall guy wearing a burned down shirt and cargo pants. Excellent, excellent. Number two, Josue Avalos. Adam and Lucy are the looking, are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Adam and Lucy are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Perfect. Repeat after me. Couple. 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 Excellent. Rene, number three. Rene. Lainy, Lainy is the young girl. She's on a stripper t-shirt and blue jeans. Liney is the young girl and is in a stripper t-shirt and blue jeans. Perfect, perfect. Repeat after me. Stripe. 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 Es rayada, camisa rayada. Stripe. Number four, Stripe. number four, eh, Edwin Giovanni. Number four, Edwin Giovanni. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Perfect. Hector Granados. Number five, Hector Granados. Okay. <laughs> it is the serious looking boy. He's listening to his new salsa city. AG is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa city. Perfect. Any questions referring to this activity? At this moment, do you have any questions about yes. this exercise? Yes. yes. Well, what is the meaning for the serious looking? El que se ve serio, serious looking, que se mira serio. Okay. And the, button, button, button down? Oh, button, but, down? button down is button up, is ponerse uh -huh. todos los botones, button up. Button down uh -huh. is quitarse los botones. Es abotonar. Button down. Button okay. up. Thank you. Bottom down. Another question. Another question. Somebody. No teacher. Thank you. Okay. Question. Okay. Now for the following activity. Oh, we are finished. Section four. Congratulations. We finished section four. Good job. Excellent work, guys. So now we are going to look at 
a, the next one, which is 5.0. In this session, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. En esta clase, aprenderemos sobre el presente perfecto. El presente perfecto se pone en práctica durante la conversación. New Orleans, listen please. Uh, I... Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right, listen and repeat. Two. It's great to see you, Todd. It's great, it's great, to, great, to, see see great to see you, uh, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. Just yes, a few days. days. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really, really excited, excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't I wait, can wait to, to show, show, show you the city. city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Um, Have you been, you been, been to a jazz club yet? Yeah. yeah, I've already been to one. Yeah, yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that, too. I've already done that, too. Have you written in a streetcar? Have you, have you read 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 in in a street read car? They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, that's how I got here today. Yeah, today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, is, well, there, is there anything, anything you, you want, want to do? do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. You know, you know, you know I really, 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 really just, just want, want to stay My feet are killing me. Okay, listen one more time. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There are a lot of. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right. Does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? Questions related to this vocabulary? No, teacher. Thank you, Josue. Somebody else have any questions? No, teacher. Thank you. 
Thank you, Where Enrique. Teacher. What is the meaning of reading? Writing. Um, very good. Writing. Marta. Very good. Have you ridden a streetcar? Eh, ¿Has montado un streetcar? Es uno de estos, como una car chariot. Uh, so, written is a past participle del verbo ride. Right. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes. Good question, Marta. Another question? Don't, teacher. Don't. Oh, I, I really done that too. Oh, done that too. Ah, ya lo hice también. I've already done that too. Ya lo hice también. Es el past participle de do. Do, simple present. Did, simple past. Done, past participle. Okay. Teacher. Hi, Monica. Is, uh, the contraction, I've. Uh, is I have. I have. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I have. Thank you. Yes. Another question, guys? Me. Okay. Ah? Lo, lo último aquí de mí. My feet are killing me. Oh, yeah, me. Mis pies me están matando. My feet are killing me. Mis pies me están matando. Dice que le duelen los pies. Teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I've, already, I've already been to one. I've already been to one. Ya he estado en ella. Another question? No, teacher. Okay. No. Now no. we are going to practice this conversation in pairs. Any questions? No, teacher. Let's no. go. Go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Okay, let's continue the conversation. Yes. You can and me talk. Okay. Okay. One moment, please. I open. Okay. 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 It's great to see you. So, have you been in New Orleans now? Yes, I feel day. I am really excited to be here. Um, I can't um, wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz concert? Yeah, I I really be to one. Oh, how about um, Liverpool too? Oh, uh, I, I really done that too. How do you ride in a uh, street car? They a lot, a lot of fun. Actually, that's uh, how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Do not. I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Yes. Renee, hi. 
Yes, Roxana, I listen. Sí. Ah, entonces, si quiero ahora intercambiar, ¿no? Yes. Okay, it's great to see you. So, I have to be in the New Orleans alone. Um, just a few days. I'm really excited to be with you. I can't wait to show. Perdón, perdón, excited to be with you. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to show you the city. I have to be to a jazz club there. Um, yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about the right ball too? Um, I've already done that thing. Have you ride in the sick car? There a lot of fun. Actually, um, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Um, you know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rene. Hi, Rene. Hi, Rene. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished. You are finished? Yes, finished? You're finished? Okay, awesome. Now, for the following activity, we're going to be looking at 5.2. In this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. En esta clase, estudiaremos sobre el presente perfecto. Aprenderemos a preguntar y responder usando el presente perfecto con el pasado participio de verbos regulares e regul irregulares. Listen, please. The present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. 
Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Please continue working on the platform, and we see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher.